What's up everybody, Matt from the Gamer Initiative here bringing you another episode of our Manager Mode commentary for FIFA 15. So the last video we got a couple of really good wins in the league, uh, a 2-0 victory over Chelsea and then a 1-0 victory over Arsenal. Both those victories against obviously top of the table rivals left us top of the table over the new year, 5 points clear, looking really good for that title push now. Uh, and with, with that title push in mind, and where we are in the year now, we are into January, we're in the January transfer window. So we're going to be looking to maybe make an addition or two to our squad, just to make sure that we kind of still have all the quality there to make sure we can maintain our push on all three fronts. So this this video, we're going to go through the, <clears throat> the scouted players that we have looked at previously. Uh, what I've done, actually, is just shorten down these lists a little bit, just to save you guys some time because to be honest if I went for every single player on video it would be boring as hell so I've I've dwindled each of the lists down we're looking at goalkeepers um, left backs centre backs so that, that's the areas we're looking at first up we're going to go with is centre backs because Yoshida is going to be leaving us so we definitely need to get a centre back in in this window the other positions they can wait to the summer if we have to but centre back is a priority so we, we've dwindled it down to these seven guys here. So what I'm going to do now is make inquiries on these guys. Now, my first opinion will be um, that not all of these are going to be attainable. Some of them might be too expensive, but we can we can find out anyway. Um, the two choices that I have as like kind of maybe my number one and number two choice, I'd really like this Laporte guy. He, he's young and he's already got some really good stats in there. I think he's probably going to be too expensive, but we'll kind of see how it goes. Uh, number two is this Dragovic guy from Barcelona. You can see there he's got some decent tackling by the looks of things. And he's also got a pretty decent physical category there as well. Uh, and another guy who's also very good is this San Jose, but I'm pretty sure he'll be too expensive as well. We uh, we applied for some additional funds from our from our board because as you can see down here we don't actually have enough money to to buy anyone at the moment so we did request an extra 10 million and we'll find out in here whether or not that request has been acceptable okay so we've had a few emails here we'll go down here and have a look so there's the additional request uh, they believe that what we asked was a bit excessive so that's fine we'll go back and ask for slightly less money we go through these ones now and see how much they want so Dragovic they want 4.8, so that, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That would be a, a reasonable amount that we could afford. Uh, Brummer, he was 6 million. That's not too bad. Hoffman, 7, that's fine. Laporte, 29.5, so unfortunately he's going to be too much money. Uh, Vizo, 7 million. Maximovic, 15, so yeah, another one there that's too much money. Uh, and a mountain offer, no. Okay, so to be honest, it looks like I'm probably going to go with this Dragovic guy because... He was one that I was looking at, and he was actually the cheapest of those options as well. So what I need to do here, actually, is request that money again, because they said no to the 10. Uh, I will move that down, we'll say 7, because if we can pick up that other guy for 4 million, we might be able to find a keeper for, for 3 million as well. Um, so that's fine. I'm going to put here, win the title, because we're in a really good position in the league, and I, I think we can win the league and reach the semi-final of the cup that's fine because we're already in the semi-final of the capital one cup so there we go we'll see what they say on that really hoping that they uh, approve that or something around that range anyway uh, we'll get a couple of emails here in a minute uh, additional fun requests okay so they're not going to quite give us a seven they're going to give us 6.8 that's fine that's enough to to bring in the player we're looking for uh, san jose yeah he's too expensive and a player returning from loan uh, Art of Book. Okay, so that's fine. Actually, we've now got a, a, a slightly better backup keeper now in uh, in Book. He's he's not the best, but you know he he'll do he'll do the job for us. You know, if we have a look down here, his stats, his goalie stats are down the bottom there. You know, 81, 71, 73, 82. That's that's fine. We'll we'll keep him. So we don't need to keep him right now. Now that kind of makes the fact that we only really need to get a centre back and hopefully now we've got that money we can go into here uh, go into our emails and make an offer for Dragovic 
So we'll go to the transfer offer here. And they want 4.8, so I'm going to offer them uh, 3.6. Uh, see what they say to that. And then that would leave us with another 3.2, if that's acceptable. Uh, simulate up here a couple more days, see if we can get that offer accepted. Hopefully we can. Uh, I don't see any reason why, why not. Uh, let's have a look here. Here it comes. Okay, so it hasn't come in. This comes off. We have had a player that's been sold, Yoshida. Uh, obviously, like I said, we didn't have any input on that. It looks like they just get he gets sold automatically. He's gone to Newcastle for only 1.1, so not quite as much as maybe we should have got for him. But it's better than going for nothing, which is what would have happened at the uh, at the end of the uh, transfer or the end of the season. Uh, we've got a couple of conversations here. So Schneidlin looks like he's back from injury, so that's really good for us. Uh, probably won't play him in the next game with it being a cup match, but maybe have him on the bench and and see, maybe bring him on if we need to. Uh, just come a couple more days here. Uh, transfer offer is unacceptable. They're saying 5.5, which is more than what they initially asked. Um, I think that's a. I think we've noticed that before. There's a bit of a glitch in the system, so we'll go back to 3.8. I think that's going to be enough, to be honest. To get him signed up now obviously he's not going to be signed in time for this next game which is some FA Cup action uh, transfer offer we've got a transfer offer here from Ayuka uh, 1.2 Chelsea oh we're not or oh, QPR we're not really using him um, they're trying to get him for less than what he's worth let's see if we can just squeeze a little bit more out of him uh, 1.5 we'll say I you know, just want to try and get a little bit of money. We're not going to use Miyuka, so it's not really a big deal if uh, if we don't have him. But enough transfer for right now. We can focus on this game here, the FA Cup. FA Cup's a great chance for us to go on and get some silverware. Couldn't ask for a better draw at home for our first game against Carlisle United. League 2, I assume. So something we can really look to push on. I'm going to move to our cup team, as we have always done for the cup, keep that kind of same thing going. I want to focus on our players being as fit as possible for the league. That's the one we're really pushing on. So that's in there. That's absolutely fine. And we'll go in here. Like I said, it'd be really nice if we could have a good run in the FA Cup. We've already done really well in the Capital One Cup, but this game is a perfect opportunity to to advance through to the next round. Okay, guys, here we go. St Mary's Stadium, the venue once again. For our first attempt at the F or first endeavour in the FA Cup, really want to go on and do well in the cup competition. It's something that we're doing well so far, and couldn't ask for better opposition here. A team we really should be looking to get a win over, and maybe even get a few goals along the way. Ward Prowse into Long. It's a good first touch, and it's shot. Oh, it's just wide. First touch took it away from defender, but also made the angle pretty hard, but. Good early chance there for Southampton. Mane. Mane's got some room to run into here. Mane, can he finish? He does. That's far too easy. Using his pace there. He's a very quick player. Just far too quick for the defender. And even on his weaker foot, he's able to put it beyond the keeper. And that's just the start we were looking for. A nice early goal. 1-0 to Southampton. It's a great ball through to Mane. He's onside. And he's got his second of the game. That's a cracking through ball there from Cork. Mane timed his run perfectly. And really good finish. Impressed with him so far. Trying to look to establish himself in the team. Obviously hasn't had many chances with Rodriguez. But that's a fine finish. And now 2-0 to Southampton. Mane's second of the game as well. Ward Prowse. Ball over the top here for Long to chase. Long's through on goal. Can he finish? Oh, he's hit the post. But a tap in there for Mayer. 3-0 to Southampton. Clinical in front of goal so far. Pretty much scoring with every attack we've had. Or every clear-cut chance, anyway. Long may be a bit disappointed to not do better, but the tap in there for Mayer. 3-0 to Southampton. All far too easy at the moment. To Davis. It's a ball through for Davis. Davis has finished. But he's offside, I think. He is offside, yeah. 
Not by much. I'm sure there's not much in it. We'll see when we stop getting shown the linesman. Ball through the mid middle here. And he just, just got the wrong side of the defender a bit too early. But And there we go. There's the half-time whistle. So at the break, Southampton, as you would expect, controlling this game very much. So Carlisle, fair play to them. They are, they are pressing high up the pitch and trying to win the ball. Trying to be aggressive. But it is leaving a lot of space in behind. And we've been able to exploit that a few times so far and possibly going to be able to do so even more in that second half. As you can see there, three shots on target, three goals. It's clinical. The only other shots we've had, I think, was the long-range effort from Cork that was blocked and then, obviously, the, the shot that hit the post. So, very clinical in attack so far, in control of the possession. Pretty easy. Just need to make sure we do nothing stupid and avoid any injuries and we'll be going through to the next round. Mayer. Ball through the middle here, and Cork, oh he's hit the post, and the keeper gets it away, just about good early start once again from Southampton here, across to Davis, Davis has turned his man, can he finish, keeper saves, Mane, Mayer, Long, keeper saves again, Long, to Ward Prowse, and Ward Prowse shoots, and he does this time beat the keeper, and finally, Southampton have a second half goal. They're four for the day. And it's been coming. We've had plenty of attempts this second half. The keeper's actually pulled off a couple of decent saves. But the pressure told, 4-0. Comprehensive here. It's going to be in the end. And we're going to be going through to the next round. Okay, just the last 10 minute, 15 minutes here. Going to give Schneiderlin a bit of a run out on his return from injury. And also just going to bring on uh, Rodriguez for Mayer because... Mayer's a little tired on him being injured. No need to take any risks. Can he find the cross? He can. Towards the back post and Mane with a not so spectacular effort there. And there we go. <laughs> One thing we didn't want to happen. Right at the end. 90th minute. A clattering challenge on Mane and he's, he's now injured. I, I really hope that's not for too long because the one thing we didn't want was an injury and he just no one near him he just falls down hopefully it's nothing too serious and there we go there's the full time whistle so comprehensive win in the end not quite as clinical that second half but we didn't need to be all the work done in the first half early dampener right at the end there Mane after his fine two goal performance getting injured right at the death I really hope that's not for too long because that's the one thing we didn't want and the one thing we didn't need um, if he is going to be out for a while, we might need to look f for a left midfielder. At least we are in the window. Uh, the only problem is obviously money. We will have to maybe see if we can get a player on loan. Okay, so here we go. Let's just have a quick look here about the email and see how bad the injury is. He has torn his calf muscle and he is out for three months. So that's a big blow to us. And to be honest, that's most of the season. So... We are going to have to probably look to see if we can get another left midfielder in on loan. We don't have any money extra or any extra money really to buy anyone. So unless we can sell someone, obviously. Uh, there's the offer there for Miyuka. They've agreed to pay the 1.5 for him. So he will be on his way to QPR. Um, maybe not quite as much money as we could have got for him. But at the end of the day, he's, he wasn't near our squad. He's fourth choice striker. When we're only playing one up top, so that's fine. Um, here we go here. There's the contract here for Dragovic now. Now, the problem we have here, I'm just going to have to go back and adjust this now, is that he's coming from Barcelona. Barcelona obviously offer big, big wages. And as such, he wants 50,000. Now, sorry, the problem with that is... 50,000 is a lot of money for someone that's not going to be playing week in, week out. I suppose you could argue that he might become first choice if Alderweireld leaves on loan. And with that in mind, maybe we do give him 50,000. But I'm going to start off by offering him 42,000 and give him the 20% bonus, which would then basically take him back up to 50,000. Uh, four years. And his squad role. He's going to be squad rotation at the start. Um, there we go. And we'll see what he comes back with. I'll offer that to him. 
He might not accept it, but I'm just reluctant to give him that much money when like Fonte is only on that about forty thousand as well. So, and he's our captain, so I don't want to be giving him too much money. We'll have to see what happens there. Not going to find out in this video because uh, obviously we've got the game coming up here next, and not going to be playing that game in this video because we did spend a bit of time. Um, so I just selling Matt Taggart there, ninety thousand. Not really anything there. Bit of time going through all of the um, all of the transfer deals, and with that in mind, what I will do right here, just before we go, is we'll look at the left midfielders that I had also looked at scouting: um, Griezmann, Werner, Manoni, Cater, Pieta, Bortas, Kishner, Depay. Um, with these guys, I suppose we're going to have to see if any of them are maybe loan listed, or if they're willing to put these guys on loan. Um, let's have a look at club. No, because sometimes players are loan listed, and then we could then obviously a lot easier pick them up. Okay, so he's actually recently just arrived, so we're not going to be able to sign him. Wow, thirty million. Uh, so he's off the list. Okay, so. There's the names there. I will scout them in the next video. I'm not sure exactly which one we're going to go for. Um, we've done some scouting on them. Maybe we'll just see which ones are interested in coming in on loan. Uh, maybe one of these guys down the bottom here, uh, like a young, a young Dutch player. The Dutch normally produce pretty good wingers over the years, so maybe one of these will turn out good. I don't know. Uh, if you've got any suggestions about which one we should maybe look to bring in, uh, do let me do let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, it's going to be dependent on them coming in on loan, because oh, if that if that deal for our other centre back goes through, we're going to have three million, and I doubt any of them will be able to sign for three million. But there we go. There's there's just a quick overview on our options there. Um, the next video, obviously, we're going to be back in Capital One Cup action. That's a big game there against Spurs. Not the easiest draw. But a game I think we could look to go and win uh, based on how we did against them in the league. But that will come up in the next video. Uh, regarding this video, if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a like. Subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with this commentary. Uh, the commentaries at the moment are coming out about every other day. Uh, I do ideally would like it to be a daily commentary, but it's just finding the time to be able to do it at the moment. So I'm very busy, so which is why it's kind of gone back to every other day. But hopefully we'll get back to being more regular. Uh, in the next week or so but for now thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time